wild, full of dust-filled, untuned, underperforming gaming PCs, one man has come to fix it all. This is PC House Call. Welcome back guys, today I am at a friend's house, his name is James, and I'm going to be tuning his PC. He plays games competitively and he's got a high refresh rate monitor and he wants to know what the best FPS he can get out of his gear can be. So today we're going to be doing just that, we're going to be tuning this thing, I've had a few beers, but let's see what we can do. What's up, guys? I'm here with my friend James. Known this guy for over ten years now, yeah. Easy, easy ten years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today uh, we have to build his com no, not build. Sorry, tune his computer because he's got a really good monitor. Got some decent things. I think you got a 6700K. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And you want me to do my magic on this computer? Yeah, you know I'm, I don't have the expertise, so um, you know you're the expert. So if you can get a bit extra out of it for me, that'd be good. Awesome, man. So we got uh, you were telling me about Elder Scrolls Online, yeah. So yeah, play that a little bit. I haven't been playing it lately, but it's uh, it's a hard one because it's the engine is really clunky. So <laughs> to get the best out of that game is a is a mission. So yeah, pretty much you guys may know Elder Scrolls. Yeah, very uh, single core dependent. So especially even on the sixty seven hundred K, this thing struggles. So I'm going to be upping this the speeds of his uh, CPU by as much as I can. And then we're going to see how it runs before and after. Also, you play CSGO, CSGO Overwatch, Overwatch, and uh, World of Warcraft a bit. Uh, yeah, Overwatch, CSGO. Um, I've been playing The Witcher lately. Yeah, there's a few things going on there. Everyone loves The Witcher, man. You guys love The Witcher. I always get told about The Witcher, the wild hunt. So we're going to do a bit of a wild hunt today and see what we can do for you guys. Let's get on with it. So looking at the specs here, James has a Define R5 from Fractal Design. He also has a 6700K with a Thermaltake air cooler on there. And now the good thing about this whole rig here is that since he has a good case, he has a good power supply, he can then upgrade the graphics card at any time. And he's pretty much going to be getting the best frame rates possible. Because the 6700K still has the same IPC as the 7700K Cabby Lake. So now he has the GTX 960 in here, and this CPU is way more than capable of handling this graphics card. So in the future, if he gets sick and tired of what the 960 can deliver, then he can put in something like even a 1080 Ti and have absolutely amazing frame rates. Obviously though, with a 1080p monitor, he'd probably want to upgrade his monitor too if he did this. But in the meantime, with really good specs, really good upgradability on this computer, we can now get into overclocking this thing. Okay, so we're in the first game here. This is World of Warcraft. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the games out now with James's settings on stock. Well, this is how he ran his computer. So he hasn't overclocked yet, and we're going to test four games. So we've got World of Warcraft up here first. We see this game's hovering between 95 and 100 FPS, but after we overclock, we're going to come back, revisit the games, and see what FPS we're getting. All right, guys, so we loaded up Elder Scrolls Online, and now we're in a city called Orsinium, and we're just sitting here on a static image. We're going to leave the game, and then we're going to boot it back in after the overclocks. We're getting about 80 FPS in this place. So basically, guys, with CSGO, we did a pre-roll, and we had to cut it because we didn't know how CSGO worked for benchmarking. Like, it was really bizarre. We're in the same area, and we're watching the FPS go from, like, 330. Like, you see it now. It's going 320. And it would go all the way up to 450. Now, if we're looking at the same piece of map, that shouldn't be happening. So what's going on with CSGO is it's processing everything on this map, that even what you can't see, and so that's actually affecting your FPS in real time. So how I'm going to do this benchmark is I'm going to look at this, I'm going to start around and try and not die and then look at the same piece of map. And then when we finish the round, we'll stop the benchmark. But keep in mind that CSGO is actually a very interesting game in how to benchmark it for multiplayer. It's something that I didn't know and I'm learning this real time. But of course, we're going to overclock the CPU and then see what extra frames we can get. Okay, guys, we're doing the Zuria benchmark. Uh, we've got like heaps of them loaded up here uh, in a just a mass smash here. But the GPU is still getting maxed to like 100% here. So I don't think overclocking is going to really make a difference in this benchmark. But of course, we're in the same area. We'll try and get it back in the same area and see if it makes a difference. So guys, we are in the BIOS at the moment. And it looks like James has already played around with the MSI... Uh, overclocking utility in windows and he's got 4.3 gigahertz on the cpu core and 2.347 gigahertz effective on the memory so let's try and uh 
dial in some settings here, see what we can get and see how well we can overclock both the memory and the CPU on this motherboard. This is a Z170A Carbon Gaming Pro, I think. So we've done a little bit of time on this. The most time we wasted was when we went from 4.9 to 5 and then the it just bricked and so we had to try and reset the BIOS. But on the Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon, there's no clear CMOS button, but there's no clear CMOS jumper. So yeah, you had to get a screwdriver and hold it down on the JBAT jumper for five seconds. I'm gonna do my thing. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are in the BIOS at the moment and we've found the sweet spot overclock for James's computer. So we've got 4.6 gigahertz and of course these settings here, the XMP profiles, we enabled them at 3.2 gigahertz effective, but the problem was is that the computer wouldn't boot up, even with an SA voltage of 1.2 volt, which is usually pretty good for finding air or water overclocks. And so we had to drop it down here to uh, 2.99, 2.933. And so we did that with 1.375 voltage on the CPU core, and we've got a pretty damn solid overclock here. So let's boot in, and then we'll test the stability, and then we'll move on to the gaming benchmarks. All right, guys, we've been recording this for 20, uh, pr pretty much half an hour. So we've got 4.6 gigahertz stable on the 6700K at 1.36-ish volts. So pretty decent overclock for a 6700K. It could boot into 4.9 gigahertz. So, I mean, I guess this uh, CPU could go high if we maybe de it and also if we had a better motherboard. And, of course, we've got to overclock the GPU just a little bit. <laughs> okay guys, so we've overclocked the CPU and the GPU and the frame rates are still the same. Um, uh, guys, uh, beers and um, max FPS 100 setting fail. We're in Elder Scrolls Online here and James is like flipping his stuff. <laughs> He's like, a, like, we're hitting 100 now. Before, we were, I think we are like at 80 or something. We're hitting the max FPS counter here in Elder Scrolls. Same settings too. So we like, you know, we move it all around, you know, shake that thing, move it all around, and it's 100 FPS, like it's just going crazy. So overclocking is legit. This is free performance that James never had before this. So crazy stuff. So let's move on now to CSGO. So we have just benchmarked CSGO and we've got the FRAP scores here because I decided to benchmark the start of the um, level to the end since there was that variance before we talked about. And you see here after the overclocks we are scoring indeed quite a bit higher which is to be expected but of course since it is a multiplayer benchmark there is going to be variance and of course I want to drink some more beer so I'm not going to be benchmarking all night. Anyway, let's move over to the next game. We have overclocked this now at the same settings before we had only 250 FPS. Now we're getting like 300 FPS. This is insane. So overclocking will definitely help, guys. Look at this. Oh my goozles. This is really good. So I'm just sitting here playing this. And the one thing about Overwatch, we see this. You notice that little frame thing there, the milliseconds. Look at that. This is just shows how well an optimized game Overwatch is. So we'll move on to this next game, which is, uh, I think, uh, actually, this was the last game in the benchmark. Folly. Okay, we're going to move over to conclusion now. So here we are, guys. We have finished off James's PC. He's overclocked now on the CPU, memory, and the GPU. And you saw the legit frame rates, right? Yeah, I was impressed, actually. He was impressed, guys. So... Crazy, uh, anyone can do this. Overclocking, anyone can do it. Like it's, it's, I mean, it does, there is a learning curve there, of course. There's a lot of things to look out for and whatnot. But when you do overclock, the benefits are mad gaming. Mm -hmm. Mad gaming. Yep. So are you a happy gamer? Oh, yeah. I, actually, <laughs> I was actually quite impressed. All right, so we are going to go, cheers to this. We're going to get a pizza on dial and we're going to go chill out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see more things like this, then drop a comment in the comment section below. And yeah, peace out for now. Bye.
in something like this, and he would be ready to go, absolutely killing the games. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into overclocking this thing. <laughs> well, the cat, that, that was staged, guys. The cat knew the cue. <laughs> So the next game we've got up here is CSGO. Now I've got the graphical settings on low shadow details, but high graphical settings. So the GPU is only getting utilized at 50% here. And we're in a, oh, well, okay, I'm, guys, I'm had a few beers here. Oh, look at this guy, he's a boss. Look at my ally, man, look at him. He's just, okay. I didn't even know the FPS, <laughs> I did <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I did nothing, eh? Hey, hold on. <laughs> just take this. Oh my, oh my god, I'm like... Oh! oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man! I, yeah! <laughs> I didn't even... I, I like, killed him and I, like, like I was standing up. I was standing up with a tripod in my way. And, <laughs> and before I'm actually trying... <laughs> The guy's like, should be ashamed of himself. Oh, God. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're ordering a pizza right now? I'm ordering a pizza. Marie's pizza. Marie's pizza. Meat lovers, extra garlic. Yeah, I got meat lovers. I got the garlic pizza and I got a uh, seafood pizza. Oh, yeah. gold. Yeah, so that's done. Gold Coast, brothers. <laughs> Back to your level. Hey, honey, can I get a beer? <laughs> <laughs> All the time.